YouTube, this is Joe McFly hitting you up with another reaction video. T had another Yankee game. Yankees ended up coming back today and beating the Rays again at Yankee Stadium. And they did it with the long ball. Once again, Starlin Castro, who I hope he's getting hot because Starlin Castro, the hot Starlin Castro, is the Starlin Castro that you want on this team, especially for a postseason run. And hopefully he can be able to get going. But he had a home run today. Uh, then you had Bird had a home run today, and then you had Hicks had a home run today, and it was just like, it's just making you think, it's making you dream a little bit, man, because the team is literally playing their best ball of the season right now. And that's even counting the, that hot start in the beginning. Uh, right now, in their last 26 games, the Yankees are actually 19, and... Seven. They're 19 and 7 in their last 26 games. That's awesome ball. That's insane ball that they're playing right now. They're just doing really well right now. Um, and it's just, it's just getting you excited because the postseason is so close and it looks like we're peaking at the right time. You know, getting ready to get into it. Um, Severino came out today. Awesome job. I thought he was a little shaky in the beginning, but then after that, settled down. Ho hum. Six innings pitch, freaking nine Ks, four hits, Severino start, just a one earned run, which is a home run to Echeverria. But, <clears throat> I mean, just a, a great job for Severino. And just his year in totality, maybe he has 194, 195 innings pitch, 230 strikeouts for this guy, who last year the Yankees, and his words, the Yankees did not trust him to make a start as a starter because of how horrible he was. And now they're trusting him with starting off and kicking off the playoffs for the Yankees. So, just tremendous bounce back year for him. Just a great year over, uh, overall, all around, uh, for Severino. And he's not gonna win the Cy Young because Kluber and Chris Sales here is, are just insane. And But the guy's got a 2.98 ERA. He's definitely gonna get some Cy Young votes. Um, and you know what? Again, he's only 23 years old, so he allows you to dream. The great thing, the really great thing about this game, not not the power. The power is there, and I love the power. And, of course, the Yankees are right now number one in the major leagues in home runs. So, kudos to them. This is a rebuilding year, and they're going ahead and doing that. But the judge double that he hit, the two RBI, the two run double that he hit was clutch, bro. Because the Yankees were down at that point in time. They had, run, they had other opportunities that they didn't cash in um, on it. Runners on first and third, and Judge delivered that double, a 3-2, which he's always in 3-2. Double right there, man. And you got to appreciate that from Judge. But, guys, Red Sox won today. Magic number for them is down to two. Becoming unlikely that the Yankees win the division. It's not impossible, but it's unlikely. They're going to go in there and face, right now, the Houston Astros. Astros are looking like their first round matchup. Uh, the Indians won today. The Astros won today. So right now, the Astros are within one game of having the uh, the overall best record. So will, he, will they do it? I don't know. But they're probably going to give the Red Sox their best shot. So why not just keep playing all the games? Uh, another thing that's out there, too, Nelson Cruz, I believe, has 117 RBI. And... Judge has a chance to possibly catch up to him for RBIs uh, on the season. So, you know, that's another factor. If you could give him that, that's just kind of another thing to try to cement his, uh, his MVP candidacy. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Uh, who, who do you guys think is going to be the guy? I think, I, I don't know why, but I just have that feeling that Bird is going to get molten hot in the playoffs. And Gary Sanchez too. They're, you know, all of them. They're all gonna, you know, they're gonna do really well. But I just, I don't know why. Bird. I just have Bird there because there's not that many lefty pitchers. The Indians don't really have. Uh, who was it? Clevenger probably. 
but they don't really have a dominant lefty pitcher. Um, of course, they got Andrew Miller in the pen, though, so let's not forget about that. Uh, let's see what happens there, man. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Right? How do you guys feel about today's win? Uh, it's great that the Yankees are playing good ball. 20 games over 500. Put this into perspective, guys. The Yankees are 20 games over 500. They're 89 and 69, okay? They already, they were projected to only win 83 games this season. 89 games, okay? And they still got a chance to win 90. Got to think about it. With 23, 24, or 26 blown saves, sorry, on the season. The horrible one-game record. The horrible year from Tanaka. The injuries to Sanchez and Didi missing a month, which could have been debilitating. The injury to CeCe. I mean, having Chris Carter on the damn team. The first base production and the third base production before Headley turned it around. It's just been... It's been a long season, and the Yankees being here is amazing to me. It's just amazing, and it just makes you think, what is it going to be in the future? Uh, but once again, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you do subscribe. Hit up my freaking website, guys, if you guys do want the hat. I know some people were asking for it. Go on the website. You can just order it. You got an order number and everything. I ship it to you uh, where you are. Yeah. Um, got a whole bunch of these on there. We're gonna be coming out with shirts too. But hey, hey, as I always say, guys, make sure you do keep your pinstripes on. Make sure you keep your pinstripes strong. Let's go, Yankees, man. I do not stay at the Intercontinental.